So you've come back, have you? Yuri. What? You two know each other? Yes. We're old friends. You don't say. I see you know Yuri as well. We crossed paths during the assault on the city. Now then, what business did you have? Uh... We came to ask you about a man named Barbos of the Blood Alliance. It looks like he's the one behind the recent string of stolen Blastia cores. I see. So Barbos is tied up in your problem as well. You have a problem with him too? We have come to ask that the Union relinquish all ties with the Blood Alliance. Other guilds have begun to follow Barbos' example, abusing Blastia in other areas and disrupting the order of society. If we can count on your assistance, I feel that together we should move to put an end to the Blood Alliance. Barbos? <laughs> He's been testing the limits of my patience lately. Looks like it's time to remind that brute how a proper guild behaves. A clash between the guilds and the Empire was avoided the other day, largely due to your intervention. However, if Barbos is left unattended, the relations between our two states may yet again be torn apart. And that's not going to be fun for anybody. The time for stopping Barbos is now. Since we'll be cooperating with you, I assume we'll be on equal standing with the Empire in this. Yes, sir. If that's the case, a united front with the Empire might not be such a bad idea. Then... Yeah. We'll deal with this together. Hey, send the message to Bellius. <laughs> Tell Bellius that Nordopolic is gonna help us. Man, this is serious. I have brought a letter from His Highness, Yoder. A secret note from the Imperial Candidate, huh? Read it aloud. If Don Whitehorse is taken out of the picture, we are willing to overlook the Union's responsibility in the Barbos affair. What? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. What? What is this? Looks like you and the young master see things a bit differently. There must be some mistake. Master Yoder would never say such a thing. Show our guest here to his own private suite. Don Whitehorse, please listen to me. This is some sort of trap. Flynn! Why would you... Hang on. If we screw up, it'll only make things worse for Flynn. <gasps> All out war with the Empire. We'll take everything we've got and march on the Imperial capital. Try and make a fool out of me. I'll tear these little messengers limb from limb. And it looks like he's forgotten all about talking with us. I don't think that Don's in much of a talking mood right now. I have to return to the Empire and find out what's really going on. I said hang on. We should sit still for now and see what happens. I... I suppose you're right. I cannot believe that Yoder would give a letter like that to Flynn. There must be some mistake. We've met His Highness too, and he certainly didn't seem like that kind of person. But you heard the letter! It said to take Don Whitehorse out of the picture! So maybe it was sent by someone who wants to throw a wrench into what Yoder and Flynn are doing. But that's nothing more than a hunch right now. Yeah, you're right. The only thing we know for sure right now is that Flynn is in trouble.
Huh, that's strange. What's the matter, Yuri? It looks like I dropped my wallet somewhere. At a time like this? Maybe it fell out of my pocket at the Don's place. I'm gonna go look. You wait here. Okay. Don't take too long. Alrighty. Now to go see how Flynn's holding up. Thought I was being quiet, but I guess you heard me. So, you've come to have a laugh at me in this sorry state? Yeah, I wanted to see what kind of expression being locked up put on your face. It doesn't hurt to be forced to view things from behind bars every now and then. What the hell you think you were doing, coming here with a letter like that? That was the Red Eyes doing. They attacked after you left. You don't screw up like that. Was it one of your people? Even if it was, the responsibility is mine. I see. If the Red Eyes are involved, then Rago's gotta be behind it all. But how do you know? At the harbor, we saw Rago giving orders to one of their assassins. I hadn't heard about that. Do you know what they're trying to do? Most likely, they want to force a clash between the guilds and the knights. That'd be... bad. You think another one of those false letters went to the knights? Yes, to put them in a fighting mood. If you know that much, then get out there and get the real letters back. I was wondering how long it'd take you to get rid of that damn lock. You've got to stay here. What? And be your scapegoat? You're just itching to get rid of me, aren't you? Yuri, if I don't make it back, you'll have to die in my place. Yeah. <laughs> Taking your friend's place in a jail cell? You lost your mind, son. This coming from an old man who gets rid of his own guards on purpose. Hmm. I had a special favor to ask that rookie knight. You mean Flynn? The rats that plan these sort of stunts usually like to enjoy their handiwork from somewhere nearby. If you knew the letter was fake, why'd you fire everyone up like that? If I didn't make a good show of things, whoever's behind all this wouldn't bother to come watch. Besides, we've got a lot of hotheads around here who'd never let me hear the end of it if I didn't raise hell. So that's where it stands. Of course, if our friend the Knight doesn't show up again, your life is mine. I know. Tell me one thing, though. What made you want to start a guild in the first place? I realized I couldn't protect the things that were important to me playing by the Empire's rules. There have to be some things that were easier to protect when you're on the other side, though. Even in the lower quarter where I'm from, we still had the barrier to protect us. Sure. But were you happy with just putting up with all the things you didn't like? Well, I... So if the rules the Empire sets don't suit you, you got two choices. You can do like your friend is, and put everything you've got to change in the system. Or, you can turn your back on the Empire, and live by the rules you set for yourself. That's pretty clear cut. Yep. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to take responsibility for letting my prisoner go. You want me to do something besides rotting in this cell? The sap who's been putting together this little show has got to be somewhere in this city. 
Oh, I've been planning on asking your armor-wearing friend to hunt him down for me, but... So what? You want me to find them? Your job is to pay this debt back to me. How you go about it is up to you. That young lady you brought with you is running all over the place helping with the injured folks. You're not the type to be the only one sitting around twiddling its thumbs, right? Estelle. Huh. <laughs> that sounds like her. is passing through. Is he really planning on going to war just to lure those rats out of hiding? We'll teach those Imperial bastards to look down on us! Oh, Yuri! Have you finished healing the injured yet? How did you know that? The Don told me. This is from him, his way of saying thanks. But Yuri, things have gotten really bad. Yeah, I noticed. No, that's not what I mean! What else? I saw them! You saw who? The Blood Alliance. Barbos wasn't with them, but... Rita and Repeat are shadowing them right now! Just what the Dawn wanted. Let's catch up with Rita! Yeah. you talking with the Don, Yuri? You were gone for a long time. We had a nice little chat through some thick iron bars. Yuri, did you get Flynn out of prison by trading places with him? No, it's nothing like that. Flynn would have been released even if I hadn't gotten involved. What do you mean? The Don planned all along to capture Flynn and use him to find out who's behind this whole mess. So both the Don and Flynn know that there's someone else manipulating things? Yeah. Why do I keep letting myself get caught up in this stuff? Now the Don's making me do his dirty work. What a pain. Rita. Yes! Let's go inside. But if Barbos is in there... Then we can't just sit around and watch either, huh? What should we do? Let me give you a tip. Oh, it's you again. Hey, hey, is it okay you being here? No, it ain't okay, but the Don asked me to make sure you youngsters don't screw things up. Why don't you guys come with me to a tavern and hear what I got to say? We don't have the time to... Aw, oh, come on! You sound like you think I'm gonna trick you! Well, you have tricked us before! I can handle getting tricked a couple times. But there are limits to my patience, old man. What's with the grim face? I get it. All right. Come now, kids. Show me those pearly whites. All right, this way. We're coming through. What is this place? Just a place that Don has for drinking with important guests and having secret conversations. Are you telling us just to stay here and drink? If your friend comes back with the real letter, things could be settled peacefully. 
Sorry, but I can't let Flynn hog all the glory. We need to find the criminal behind all of this trouble. If that happens to be Barbos... Easy now. Haste makes waste. What's this? There are sewer tunnels that sprawl in a labyrinth beneath this town. Long ago, when the town was occupied by the Empire, the guilds used these tunnels to fight back. Wait! Don't tell me this place is connected to those sewer tunnels! That's exactly what it is. And our plan is to use them to sneak right up behind those guys. Quickly sneak in and catch them, huh? It's a bit of a detour, but it's the best chance we got. That's the idea. Aren't you glad you trusted me? I won't know that until it's all over. So, you still don't trust me, huh? Naturally, you'll be coming with us too, right, old man? Aw, oh, crap! And I was totally planning on skipping town. I'm saying we want to share the glory with you, old man. Come on, let's go. Oh, it's pitch black. I'd rather not get lost in here and never see the light of day again. Yo, genius mage girl, can you use some fire magic and light up this place? Are you trying to use me as your personal lamp? You've got some nerve, old man. Rita, isn't there something you can do? Hmm, nope. Fire magic is only used for combat. For us to have continuous illumination, air would need to be constantly supplied, like Lux Blastia. Huh, really? You weren't counting on that, were you, old man? <coughs> hmm, is this a Blastia? It's seriously damaged, but I think we can use it. Whoa! Isn't that thing gonna explode? Are we okay? Of course it's not gonna explode. This is a type of Lux Blastia. It uses that device to charge air and light up. I knew you could do it, Rita. But it's on its last leg, so I don't think it'll last too long. Let's get moving while we've still got light. <coughs> What's up, pupper? You need something? It's dark, so you'll get lost if you stray too far. Thanks for worrying about me, lass, but I'll be fine. It's so dank in here. I hope we don't have to stay too long. It may be dank, but at least the bustle is gone. I prefer the quiet of these tunnels. Uh, right. I'll never be able to keep up with your sensitivities. <laughs> oh, repeat. Do you know where Raven went? Hey, Poochie! Where'd you- Ugh. Ow! Ah. There goes the quiet you were talking about. Yes, well, I've become accustomed to it. Stop jabbering about customs and help an old man out! Monsters! Um, they won't attack us, will they? We shouldn't have anything to worry about. <sighs> the light! We need to charge up some air before it goes out. What the? <laughs> Let's eliminate them!
It'll be a hundred years before you can. I just keep. That was scary. I never expected monsters to wait for us to drop our guard before an attack. There's no way any monster is that smart. Perhaps they're weak against light or something? There are monsters like that? There are indeed. Creatures that live in dark places such as caverns in the ocean floor sometimes have an aversion for light and work hard to avoid it. Oh, right. So that's why they didn't attack when it was bright. Oh, there's another one of those machines. Oh, how, how interesting. So we just need to be careful to recharge the lamp before it runs out of juice. Something carved here. Words? What is this? Long ago, our ancestors abandoned their nations for forgetting their duty to protect their people and thus became the true defenders of freedom. That is how the guilds first began. But now, the iron shackles of oppression threaten to strangle us once again. It is because we have forgotten the oath of our ancestors and spent our time fighting one another for our own self-interests. Therefore, we must once again return to the basic principles behind the guilds and join our strengths together as one. We offer our swords for freedom, our shields for friendship, and our lives for the common good. Here we renew our ancient oath. Hey! Isn't that the Union Oath? What is that? It's like a slogan that the Don came up with when he formed the Union. We can't depend on the Empire, so we have to protect each other. In order to do that, we need to join forces and put our lives on the line for one another. But what's the Oath doing in a place like this? The Union is based on the guilds that resisted when this town was occupied by the Empire. Before that, Guilds just did whatever they wanted, and only joined together when there was a problem. Once things were resolved, they'd split up again. But with the Empire's occupation, they changed that. So the guy who led those guild forces was Don Whitehorse? Yep. These sewer tunnels must have really come in handy back then. So that's when they made the oath here? Seems that way. I'd heard there was an actual written oath, but I had no idea it'd be etched in a wall like this. There's something beautiful about how the oath is written on a wall. It says, I freed right here. Oh yeah, that infamous King of the Pirates. The way Don tells it, he was supposedly a sworn ally. But he was such a shrewd and cunning individual that even the Don had difficulty dealing with him. 
The Don's a pretty impressive guy to be able to call someone like that a sworn ally. Our lives for the common good, huh? I'm glad I got to see something so fascinating. But we take care of Barbos now. Let's go. Our swords for freedom, huh? The Union Oath, right? Fighting for personal freedom instead of draconian imperial law sounds good to me. If you feel that way, maybe the guilds are right for you, Yuri. Huh? Yeah, I wasn't cut out to be a knight. <coughs> huh? You agree, Repeat? <coughs> the guilds, huh? tavern in the eastern part of town used by Barbos as a hideout. Basically, it's the place you guys were trying to sneak into. Then Barbos is somewhere around here? Looks like there's a second floor. Let's see what's up there.